Today, we have summoned three Spanish players to play on their home turf. We're going to be playing the map Spain today. And I have three Spanish opponents. And if you guys don't know, the Spanish opponents are the wildest and uh, always most aggressive players to play with. So it's going to be an interesting game. We're going to be playing World Domination Fixed on Modern Spain. Now we also have Alliances on and Blizzards on. No Fog and no Portals. I'm going to be the orange player in the sixth position. We have Nokia from Spain. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. It's Nokia, but spelled weird. From Spain, we have Maxim from France. Oh, this is getting knocked out. That's great. We also have Fancy Bogeyman from Spain. We have Athlea, Althea Ripley from Spain. And Pearl Strong from Antarctica. And I'm rocking out today with the name OAFTC. And I've got a Congo flag. So I'm going to be the orange ape from the Congo, baby. We've got the shades on. We've got the orange color. We've got the name. Now, can we just eliminate all the Spanish players on their map? Now, neat, neat thing here is this blizzard right here is amazing. It means this little plus two is attached to this plus three, and you can hold both of them from up here. And I have a lot of troops up here to go for this. I'm hoping green goes for the right side and ignores over here. Because I would like to take the six and send it right through to the back and bring the four up. I would like to play out of these two bonuses right away from the start of the game. I wouldn't be shocked if Black does some weird, like, I think Black should go for this bonus, but he might 6v3 me here or something weird like that. We'll see. Uh, my Green's going to get five troops on his turn, and he could make an eight here and go for this little corner pocket. I hope he doesn't, but he may. If he does, I hope he gets terrible dice, because I want to go through and clean him right after. Yeah, Black goes for this bonus. Cool. He'll go for this bonus next, I believe. So white's got a bonus on the first turn. Black has a bonus on the first turn. Blue rolled all his troops out and is... Uh, give green a thumbs up. Tell him that I need to hit his territory at the three, but uh, we'll see. Okay, there it is. Um, tell green, I'm sorry, but I need to attack your territory. And I hope he sees that I need to hit the three up here. So pink now is going to have the one point behind this black bonus, but... Black might feel threatened here and have to roll him. We'll see how this feels. Um, if green goes and takes behind me, that's a problem. Because like, he can take this bonus for free if he adds all over here. Oh, yes! All of it on the right side. Thumbs up. I'm going to put everything I have on the left side now. And I'm going to... White is the other non-Spanish boy, so I might not get ramdingled over here. Yep, and he actually rolls this, which helps me. Hmm. I get an absolute ton of troops right now. Make an alliance with uh, white. I roll this up. Let me see what my dice look like. Okay. Now I'm going to go back here. I'm going to 6v2 this. Oh, great dice. Perfect dice. Now I'm going to come... And bring the five onto there. I might get broken, but this this seven should guard me. If I don't get broken, I should be... Oh, blue is a bot. Good. So that's actually going to roll one of the white stacks. Beautiful. Loses. Oh, it's actually... Oh, it's trying to break him in here? That's hilarious. So uh, blue immediately slammed all his troops out on the first turn. Didn't even get a card, and then he botted. And now his bot is... Uh, it's just rolling random stuff. Doesn't have a card. So it's got eight troops on the board. In the middle, it's going to cause problems for other people. And white is maybe not going to break me. We'll see. He, white doesn't break me. Oh, mama. If I hold both of these, I'm going to be getting a plus two and a plus three right from the, the start of the second turn. And uh, we're just going to get very strong out of the left side. Now, this nine, where does it go? Maybe I even go for this orange bo this bonus. I call it an orange bonus because uh, I want to take it. But uh... yeah, he's playing defensive against pink over here. So black and pink, the two Spanish players are in a standoff here. I'm allied with green. Thumbs up. And white didn't accept my alliance, but he didn't do anything to me. there. So I might get aggressive here. I may get a little aggressive. I'm going to get a lot of troops. Why not play a little aggressively? I think that's okay. 
Okay, green gets six. I think he's probably going to take this. No, he's going to hit pink. No, he's buffing the front and then going to take this. Yeah. Probably should have added more here. You don't want to go six on three. You'd like to have more to go seven on three. Or he's going to slowly ask them to move out of his way. Pink and black here in a standoff is just exceptionally good for me. I have a very good spawn so far. And I'll do this. Now, can I get... A good roll on the three. Not bad. Right now, I am dominating. Nobody has a trade right now. Everybody only has two cards maximum. I am currently holding a plus two, a plus two, and a plus three. Plus seven troops right now. And one of the Spanish players is gone. We're playing the modern Spain and there's three Spanish players. It's pretty hilarious. We, we pulled them all in on their own map. And... Uh, We've also got two other Spanish players, but they are both holding a bonus and pointing at each other quite heavily. Will Black break the upper bonus for fear of Pink slamming him here? Because if he doesn't, I think Pink's going to kill him very shortly. He's very weak. White's not breaking me still. Like, if I don't get broken by white or green, I don't think Black or Pink is breaking me. So, uh, and if I hold plus seven, I will get ten troops this upcoming turn. Okay, looks like he's going to start. He's not breaking pink at all. So pink is currently holding a plus two and a plus three. Pink's going to get a lot of troops here. Pink might actually just send in a black hard here. If he does, green may kill black for the three cards. So let's see if pink hits black hard or not. Because then green would get the free cards off of black. Unless green doesn't go for the black kill. But it's... Uh, I would be very scared of this position as the black player right now. Because pink is like only looking at you. He puts all of his troops on this 11. Oh no! Friendly? Oh! Okay. So green probably doesn't break me. He's probably going to add here and try to take the second bonus. Or he takes the front one off pink. Sorry misclick. Sorry misclick. Interesting. Well, pink's safe from black rolling him unless black has a set on three. Spamming the emote at it. I don't spam emotes at Spanish players. Even though you're from Spain, you should know better. You should know better just as well as I do or better than I do. So I get 10 this turn. Um, hmm. Interesting position. Make a six here. Make this here. Maybe make a 15 up here. Hit a white one. And make my 15 a seven. This is a two. If they want to break it, they can break it. I was I, I thought about making a four, but I want the 15 for uh, for attacking purposes. So I have no trade on three, but that is okay. I am very strong. I have 38 troops to 30. Pink has 34 though. 21 and 22. Well, 27. But the the fourth turn hasn't started for us four. So pink is only slightly behind me in troops by four troops. So as much as I'm in a dominating position, pink is very strong right now. The, the problem is pink and black are probably going to exchange some troops here. Unless unless pink gets the black kill for four cards, then it uh, might be profitable. So blue bot's going to be looking to take this bonus down here. If I killed blue, it would almost give me this bonus. And then, uh, oh, black with a set on three with a plus two. Oh, no, pink's getting... You knew it was coming. He lost nine on the 19. It's Spanish player dice, baby. Oh my God. Wow. Well, they, fancy bogeyman slapping Althea Ripley real hard. And he's also going into blue to try to kill it for the two cards. Oh man, he is sending. Does he also hit pink up here to make sure pink doesn't hold this bonus? Because pink's going to retaliate. Pink will definitely retaliate. Wow. This could be a very quick game. We will see. I'm just going to put my cameras over top of this part of the map. You guys know there's just two ones down here. It's a plus two bonus. And it's behind my 17 up here. So I can show you the whole map and we'll just... This part will be a little bit covered. It is what it is, right? Like this position is pretty good. Yeah, pink goes in immediately. Pink also had a set on three. Break, break immediately. Retakes that original bonus. His infantry, infantry wild. Wow, unlucky uh, card situation for him. Moves all of his troops into here. Does black have a set on three again? 
because he got the two cards off blue and a card for his turn. Does he trade on three again and do another pink ram dingle? Green's going to take a bonus and chill. Yep. Uh, white didn't ally me. All right, I'm going to keep getting stronger then. I probably want a decent size stack on the bottom as well. And then make this a 20. Okay, I've got a 12 down here, a 20 up here, and I don't have a dude, so I don't have a big trade. I have a cavalry trade with some plus twos in some interesting places, but not that important to write home about. But uh, this is quite the position, man. Woo! White takes a card and passes. He's got fives all over the place. This split strategy, split, 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 split. Give Green a thumbs up. And... Attack white. Thumbs up. I want to see if green is okay hitting some of white, because then I would kill white. Uh, let's say I, I, I get 10, I could make a 30 here. Maybe a 31 if I get to hold 12 territories. Black did have a set on three. Triple infantry. Oh my god, that's why I'm not getting infantry. These guys are getting infantry. Hoop -hop -hop -hop. Oh my god. Black and pink are basically dead. If I can get green to hit white at all, if I can get green to hit white at all, I should be able to kill white and then clean the board. Give green um, an attack white. And a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. So these two Spanish players are completely fighting to the death. It's hilarious. We love to see it. I mean, at this point, we'll see. We'll see what this looks like. This, this is... Six five stacks I have to hit with perfect slider to uh, hopefully get get the elimination. Green with the big trade. Does he go for kills on these guys? Any overextension by him is cool. He might break me because I'm getting pretty strong. He's strong too. What I would really like to do is be able to hit uh, kill white and then use that trade to punch green. Oh, is, is he going for bonuses? Okay. Oh, is he going to kill pink for two cards? Huh. Okay, I don't think he's going to run out of time. I think he's going to get it. So the question is, white's not allied with me, so I don't think I can get white to hit green. I think I have to go for this. Is it worth killing black for one card, or do I let green get him for two? This is a very tough position to be in. Uh, where's my plus two? Is on the Leon. All right, let's go back here. Santa Cruz. Um, oh man. I get a trade off a white kill. Let's just go. We're going to be a man with a hairy chest today and see if we get good dice. Because it's a bunch of fives, I do get perfect sliders on all of this. So I should theoretically get good rolls. Theoretically. Two on a five is great. Five on a five is not. Two on a five is good. Three on a five is good. Now, I think if I take attacker's advantage out on green, I might be able to win here. Um, should be able to also clean black out of the bottom. And I need to break green as well. Okay. I don't get a trade off black. Okay. I don't get to break everything, unfortunately. I'm on 47 to his 57. I have five cards to his four in a trade. I think he wins here. If I'm being honest, I think he wins. It depends on his speed. And I think he's good enough. If he hits the eight, then I'm feeling it. If he leaves the eight, I can use the eight to run around. It's going to break everything. Uh, that's why I took the three back here, because I knew I was going all in. Unfortunately, he still had three bonuses. I... I needed that 11 on 6 to not lose maximum, so I could actually get in and break this too. That extra 3 troops plus probably 4 troops because of territories was just... Oh, he doesn't break everything though. Oh wait, he can. He's got time with this. Well played. Do I have a big trade? No. Okay, I gotta go off Burgos. 
Where's the Malaga? Yeah, Burgos I gotta go off of. Okay, and I have to break everything of his and hopefully... I mean, him holding these two bonuses is pretty secure. Losing three on ones helps. I should lose unless I get a big trade after this. So I get a trade now, but I need a big trade on top of this to have a chance. Um, the eight can also probably just full send this. One, two. I think I... Or I try a 15 on 10 here. No, because I have to make sure I break these. One, two, three, four, five. Eight. Something like this. Okay. Slider. I need perfect sliders to ensure I get the best I can. Maybe I can get this whole corner. Playing a little risky, but I think it's worth it. Okay, that works. Okay. I don't have a trade on three. I'm 40 with three to 43 and two. But he's got these bonuses and I can't stop them. If I could have brought the two out, I might have been able to stop him from breaking this back bonus. I hope he loses this four on two. It's a very tight game here. His tens have to come out. He's so intent on guarding these that I get so many territories. I'm trying to distract him. Okay, he's not breaking everything. Okay. That was actually a massive mistake. That was a massive mistake. I get nine troops for the territories, and I still get a three for that other bonus. I could come right through his 10 stack now. Um, to do it, I need this to be... I also need to break down here, though. I need to break everything. So maybe I don't hit this 10. Oh, man, it's tempting. We're going to do this. Okay, we're going to pray he has no set. And I win a 6v3 also. Okay, good. He's on 12 territories. Do this. Do this. Okay, I'm guarding multiple things. I do not have a trade on 4. Are you... If he has a trade on 3, I might lose. I have no trade on 4. This is horrendous, man. I've got 33 territories to his 11, though. But he's holding these two bonuses. This is an insane endgame. Can I pull it off? Because his... I think he had the win, but he had to abandon these two guards on these bonuses and literally take all of the territories he could. Imagine how many territories he takes with this 12 and this 10. Then I have very little territories. I get very few troops back, right? I get to hold bonuses now. It should be over. I think I win. Now I get to hold bonuses. Like, I can actually just... <sighs> close. If I go off this, I might be able to do this full sweep, to be honest. I'm going to try this. If I get good enough dice, I can break the three up here, too. This should be a decent roll. I lost literally 12 on a 10. My dice this game? Not great, man. Can I get a good manual to lucky out? Nope. My dice this game just not great. He's on 11 territories, so I don't need to take more. But uh, he's probably going to trade. So let's do this. Put this back here. Make it awkward. I, I have triple artillery. He probably trades down and punches me, but I have triple artillery. I lost 12 on that 10. That's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. I should lose 8 on a 10 at, at most. And then I get up here with a, a 7 on 3 or something, right? I lose 8 on that 10. I'm up here with a 7 on 3. Probably clean both of this. If he had not this and he lose... He'd have not this five troops, and he also would have got two less troops this turn, so that 19 would have been smaller. It's so, okay, we're going to beat him anyways. He's made too many errors in the 1v1, but... Jeez. Oh, tough. Tough cookie. And he's got the eight here, so I'm just going to... Let's just do this easy way. Six. And let's guarantee this, this as well. Do I break everything this time? Oh, man. That dice was a lot better. Good roll on this, please. On an 8, I should lose a 6 or 7 or a 5 or something. A 4 is good. We'll take it. That should be game. This should be game. Get it? No. The other one gets it? 
Uh, well. I get that, though. Take another bonus. And a wild card! So I have triple dudes now if I want to do a triple dude trade. <laughs> but I have 44 to his 20, and that's after he trades. So we will take this win. Oh my god, what a banger game, dude. Let's go. So, the orange ape from the Congo cleans out three Spanish players on the Spanish map. Also taking down someone from France. And someone with a rhinoceros helmet. Antarctica flag. Who well, maybe he's from Spain too and he's just rocking out incognito. Let's say we killed five Spanish players today. We're feeling good about it. Uh, let's go like this. If I don't, if I accidentally don't, um, no, actually, but I really care. There's a, there's a, there's a chance I could kill him here. So like, why don't I just try to do that with the trade, even though um, it's a worse trade. Actually, I don't think I get the dice with this anyways, right? Because of the split. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, good game. It is definitely over, though. Please have no set on three, because then I can actually eliminate you this turn. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, no, my bonuses. Stop winning. What is this? At least that one didn't work. All right, there we go. Clean. Good game. Well played. Banger game on Spain, baby. We, we love to see that. That was a uh, Orange Ape from the Congo. Let's go, baby. All right. Solid win. Let's check the ranks out. We have, yeah, 16 Grandmasters in this game. It was a good one. Uh, the intermediate's the one that went 1v1 with me at the end. Quite fun. We took the Spanish players to Spain and we ram dangled them, baby. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I have banger risk videos every single day. So uh, go check out more risk if you got time today. Hopefully I catch you in the next one.